Well, hello everybody. Thank you if you're able to join live today. I meant to go live yesterday at three o'clock in the afternoon. That's my normal time. But, you know, life, what can you say, right? Anyway, for those of you who are new, my name is Colleen Light and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I come to you from Kalama, Washington. So that's a small town in Southwest Washington. This, since this isn't my usual schedule time, I'm not expecting a bunch of people to pop on. I tried to pre-record and that was a disaster. So I thought to myself, let's just give this a whirl and try and go live. Anyway, on Mondays, I case the catalog. It is my favorite thing to do. I love to come up with my version of the dimensions. I love to tell you what I'm going to, I'm just trying to even this out as I start. I like to tell you the colors I've come up with, my version of the dimensions, and how I like to figure things out. So you'll find this in our mini catalog, which retires the end of this month on page 18. I think I came pretty close. I, I do. I think I came pretty close. So I'm excited to see what you think. Oh, Lucy, for those of you who don't know, we have a little lab here and um, she's about 16 months old now. Anyway, she just strolled in, so fingers crossed she's not too disruptive. Anyway, I thought this worked out well. This is the mini catalog that is retiring. This set, Lighting the Way, is carrying over to our new catalog. Yay, that launches in May, but it's not gonna be bundled. So if you really like it, 10% off if you order from this catalog. So you get 14 stamps here in the stamp set. And look at these dies. Aren't they amazing? I This lantern one is just too much. It's too much. I absolutely love it. Okay, so let's get creating. I have something started. Um, if you are watching, please leave a comment. I always appreciate that. Let me know where you're watching from. Anyway, this is the inside. I have the just the little fireflies here. I haven't colored the inside yet. I tend not to finish my inside of my cards until and adhere them until I have the card written out or until they go to a farmer's market or craft show or something. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to set my sample off to the side here and we're, I'll give you all of the dimensions and the colors and we will put this card together. So this is Evening Evergreen. It is cut at four and a quarter inches by 11 and scored at five and a half. So again, you just cut right down the center of your cardstock the long way. Um, well, I guess I, you know, you cut right down the half. <laughs> anyway, and you'll get two card bases. So I always say, why make one card when you can make two? If you really like the design, make two. Just cut everything out. So anyway, there is our card base. I still feel like I look kind of wonky there. I don't know. I know sometimes if it's not very much fun to watch things that are off center, but I'm not exactly, I'm not good at that. Anyway, our Fancy Flora DSP, three inches by five and a half, but I took off just the very bottom. Um, five and a half was just a hair too long, but look at how nice that's gonna set. So you know what, we can just get out our glue and let's just go ahead and adhere that while we have it out. So this Fancy Flora is retiring. Look at how pretty it is. I actually ordered this by mistake and ended up just loving it. So it was one of those happy mistakes for me. So I was happy about that. Oh, hi Heather, oh from Northern California. I love Northern California. We, um, we always traveled to Arizona in different places and I absolutely love Northern California. I always told my husband, oh, wouldn't it just be wonderful to live there? Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and go like this. And center it as best, whoops, <laughs> center it as best as you can. I have a love-hate relationship with that multi-purpose glue. I love the wiggle room, but sometimes it's just a little too much wiggle room. Okay, 
I am going to grab, let's do some stamping. This is soft sea foam, one of my very favorite colors. And let's grab one of our stamps out. We're gonna take this one here. Looks like little ferns to me and I just, well, maybe not a fern, fond, I don't know. What would you call it? Anyway, absolutely love this stamp set. I'm just gonna pop this on like that. I have some new blocks coming. I'm pretty excited about that. My order is still picking um, soft sea foam. I'm doing the same color on the same, um, same color ink on the same color cardstock. Matchy, matchy. And we're just gonna stamp down here. Isn't that pretty? And these are distinctive stamps, and distinctive stamps are some of my favorite. I love, um, I love that they don't look flat, for lack of a better word. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes the stamps can look a little like flat, I guess. But I like how there's kind of that, um, I guess, distinctive ink markings in there. All right. So I grew up on the East Coast um, where fireflies are quite a thing. I didn't realize they were not on the West Coast until I moved out this way. So very pretty. You can see how pretty that looks. All right, let's do a little bit more stamping. Let me wipe this off on my chamois here. And I will have everything blogged for you also. I, I've got it pretty much started. So it'll be up here pretty soon, as soon as I'm done. So you're gonna see that we have three circles here. We have the large one, the medium one, and the small one. So I, of course I'm gonna want the small ones behind the lightning bugs. On this one, I put the large circle behind the lantern, but I think I think I'm going to take out um, the medium one this time. But before we get that going, here I said we were gonna do some stamping, but we're not, we're gonna switch gears. I cut out two lanterns. One is in the evening evergreen, one is in this gorgeous gold foil, which is available and you know, it's one of my favorites, I absolutely love it. So in the catalog, it showed this gold foil against this evening evergreen. So I thought, well, if we're gonna case the catalog, why not do that? So I'm taking the handles off here and I just run that die through the cut and emboss machine. We're gonna be doing a little um, cutting together. So I didn't wanna take all your time watching me do die cuts. So we'll do the next ones. We'll do the fireflies together. Look at that. I'm going to take that. So easy. Just snip, snip. And then we're going to take this center part out. And I'm going to come right up to the base of that cap. And then let's come down here and do the same. We're going to run it right across this bottom here. I love our paper snips. They're sharp. And they do such a great job. All right, let me grab my silicone mat and we're gonna glue these in place. So I did, I tried to pre-record a video and I'm telling you, I could not figure it out. So if anyone has any magic tips for me, <laughs> I would appreciate that. All right, so you know, you all know I used to do quilling. Well, maybe you don't, but if you haven't been following me. So I am, I love toothpicks to spread glue around. Um, they work out super well for me. I can kind of get in the nooks and crannies. And you know, I know a lot of people really like the fine tip um, glue dispensers. I don't really, I, I don't know why. I just prefer to use the um, toothpick. So. Let's go ahead and we're gonna glue this in place. And then again, the multi-purpose glue, I'm just gonna give it a little wiggle. Now, if you have not heard, um, the multi-purpose glue is going up in price with our new catalog. And it's on low inventory or else it was last time I checked. 
So you are going to want to, if you love multi-purpose glue, get yours ordered today because you don't want to miss out on an inex on a less expensive price unless you know you have to. <laughs> um, so get your get your multi-purpose glue ordered. Okay, I'm going to just put a little bit here in the corner. Nice thing about these silicone mats is you get to, this glue will just dry and then you can just take your finger and wipe it right off. It won't stick to here. So it works out very, very well if you need just a little dot and then you don't get it all over your work surface. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring it right down here and then I'm gonna wiggle it into place. There we go. That gold just really adds that perfect pop, doesn't it? I love it. Okay, so let's start stamping now. Stamping is my favorite, so let's start stamping. Let me grab back our, our lantern. So I am terrible at centering things, just awful. The worst. So I am going to take this here and I'm going to actually take a pencil and make a little tick mark where I'm going to want my yellow, my shine behind there. Let's get that little bit of glue off there. There we go, it'll be hidden, not to worry. And let's go ahead and stamp our fireflies. Let me grab a little piece of white. Let's stamp our fire our fireflies in fresh freesia. And we are going to want to, I think, we want the larger one and the smaller one. Let's do one of each. Here's the small one. And let's grab a larger one here. There we go. You know, whenever you miss a week of, um, Whenever you miss a week of videoing or whenever I do, I just feel totally off my mark when I come back on. That's why I hate to miss. I feel like I'm just relearning everything. All right, give that a nice press. Oh, so pretty. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, give that a press. Nice. Now, I want that to dry. You can really see the distinctive stamp there. I'm gonna hold it up and see especially on the wings, you can see how the outline and then you have the lighter color there. That is what I absolutely love about distinctive stamps is just that little extra bit of detail that you get. Okay, I'm gonna wipe these off on my chamois and clean them off real quick. Perfect, just in case I need to put them away. If I need that block again, I want to be able to move that. So we're also gonna do some heat embossing. This is a bit of a busy card, but I think it is so worth it. I, I just absolutely love it. It's a little bit of a fussier card, a little bit busier, but I have to tell you, I absolutely love, love, love this card. Okay, so I've got my embossing buddy here. The embossing kit is in the new catalog also. Yay about that, right? This just, um, helps with that static, right? That's what that is for. Let me grab a block here. I want to use, thanks for lighting the way. I'm gonna do that again. I love thank you cards and I love thinking of you cards and I think that this, and I love congratulations cards. So I think the thanks for lighting the way, that sentiment has so many, um, different, I think it can be used for different occasions. In fact, I went to a baptism um, last week and I thought to myself, oh, I kind of wish I had have made this card, thanks for lighting the way, for this baptism. It was an adult that was baptized and I thought, oh, I wish I had a thought of that, you know. You always think of it afterwards. All right, straight down. Let's see how it turns out. And let's pick that up. Oh, perfect. Okay. 
I am going to bring over my embossing kit. Now I am going to use the tweezers that came in the kit because I think it's going to be <laughs> get warm. It's a small piece of paper and I don't want to burn my fingers. All right, so let's sprinkle this on here. Give it a tap, tap, tap. Oh, don't want to snag that. Perfect. Let me see here. I think I scooched a little bit there. Very nice. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm going to move this out of my way because I don't want embossing powder all over the room. Okay, it's going to get loud for just a second. I did warm this up earlier, so it shouldn't take too long. So I'm going to hold it up here. You can turn off your sound for a minute so you can see how this melts. And what I mean by what a difference just using a little embossing powder will make. Move your heat tool around. If you're listening, <laughs> you don't ever need to hear it your volume down, move your heat tool around so you don't burn your, your card stock. But you can really see it, oh there it starts to go. You can really see this sentiment and this embossing powder start to melt, right? So pretty once it does that. Okay, just about done. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm gonna set this off to the side because we're going to use one of our retiring punches. Okay, so I know that I have my medium circle here and that's the one I wanna put right where I have that center dot. So let me grab our Daffodil Delight and I'm going to take my medium circle and I'm going to center it right where I had that little tick mark. And I'm not worried about that tick mark because I am going to go ahead and I think that's a little adhesive right there. So this is an adhesive eraser. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it, but I think bought it in a big box store. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and get our lantern glued in place. So I'm going to make sure that that fits right over that tick mark. You're never going to see it. So how nice is that, right? Let me go ahead, grab my glue again. And I think I might just, where'd that silicone mat go? You know, how can you possibly lose something? How can I possibly lose something that I literally had in my hand just a second ago? That's all right. And just you want a very light hand because you don't want glue eking out. I am not worried about gluing down the center of this lantern. I just don't think it's going to matter that much, to be honest with you. So I'm not going to worry about gluing down that center there. I may take a, I think I am going to take a toothpick though and just pick up a little of this glue here. Just put on the very top there since I mail most of my cards. Um, let's just take a little bit here just to put, just to dot right around there. Okay, easy peasy. Now, again, like I said, I wanted to make sure that I got that centered so you could not see my tick mark there. Ta-da, very easy. Okay, so now we wanna grab our small circle the small one from our stamp set, that one. And using the same color, the Daffodil Delight, because we wanna make, we wanna make it look like there's a little shine back there. Oh, we didn't even cut those out yet. Well, let's wait a second then. All right, I'm gonna take my Daffodil Delight here and do the tails. Are they called tails? What are the back of insects? What are those, what, what are the back, are they tails? What do you call them? I don't even know what you call them. I think they're tails. Okay, and let's grab the dies. And then I'll show you my little trick that I use. Um, let me see, so that one should do it and that one should do it. 
and I will show you my trick with a sticky note. Oh, you know what? I think Lucy actually got my sticky notes. Here's, here's one though, that'll work. She did, when, we, when she came in the office, I had my sticky notes on the end of the desk and she grabbed them. Can you believe that? <laughs> So next month in May is my five year stamping anniversary. So I am very excited about that for a look. So look for some pop-ups, some gift giveaways, maybe a few extra live videos. Look for some pop-ups though, because I'm gonna be doing some fun things to celebrate my five year stamp anniversary is what we call it up and call it in the Stampin' Up world. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I'll be doing giveaways. I'll be doing a few extra videos. All right, let's see if this will go through. No, and you know I didn't think it would because I did not have that lined up appropriately at all. Let's try it this way. There we go. That's better. So I'm thinking I've got some, and the pop is normal. Sounds like it's breaking. It's not. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you here this other thing. Let me show you. Sometimes when you're working with these smaller die cuts, you'll get a bit of a ridge. And not everyone loves those. Um, I don't think you can notice them when they're on the card, but if you get a bit of a ridge, take your bone folder and just, just go ahead and get those creases out. There, just easy as peasy as pie, right? There we go. All right, let's go ahead, grab our small dot here figure out where we want our, and again, Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna pop that right there. So he'll sit like that. And this one we're gonna bring down here and she will sit like this. You know what? I'm gonna bring her yeah, right there. That'll be good. You really can't go wrong making this card, to be honest. I think it's so pretty, and I just don't think you can go wrong no matter where you put things. I, I just think this card is so pretty and so nice. So let's go ahead and take this here. Doesn't have a lot of ribbon or anything to it. The stamps and the dies, your cardstock really does the work. See? Can you see it looks like her little tail is glowing? How cute, isn't that just cute? Flying into the lantern, which is a little crooked. Just pretend, oops, oops, and I took off the bottom. Well, not to worry, because we are just gonna glue that right back in place. Thank goodness I have another one made for pictures. Okay, let me show you. Now we took, uh, what did I do? Here it is. This punch is called, the, I wanna say it's called the Lovely lovely Labels Pick a Punch and it is retiring. I looked this morning and it is marked down to $14.40. So if you are looking for a punch, this is a great deal. I mean, it really is, has been one of my favorites. I am sorry to see it go. There, when we're gonna pop that one right there. So let's grab our dimensionals. Again, you could use some of the strips if you wanted, but we can also use dimensionals for this. And I think three will do. One, two, and then three. You know, it's just not really a video for me if I'm not doing something for the blooper reel, right? I mean, always, always, always. All right, this is gonna get centered right there. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna add some gold gems. And to be honest, I can't remember what these are actually called, the ones I grabbed. If you have, make sure your card's facing the right way. Yep, it is. <laughs> um, if you have, any gold gems or any gems you just love, whatever foil you like, just go ahead and grab them and put them on. I put two down here. One, two, and then I grabbed one up here. So 
This is the one that's a little off kilter. This is the one I made not doing a live video. So I'm really happy with this card. I think it's so pretty. I will be back on Facebook Thursday. Um, I will be on Facebook at nine o'clock in the morning Thursday and I'll be working with this set again. So thank you so very much for joining me today. I appreciate it.